Hey guys, in this quick video we're going to look at making step files in Creo and we're going to do it with the intent that we're making a step file to pass on uh, to a laser cutter such as Laser World uh, for them to then cut out our tubes. So first of all here we are in our assembly we're going to select this tube here we want to make a step file of it so we're going to open it up as a part you can see we've got two notches and before we continue it's important to name uh, your parts intelligently and this name has been generated from <clears throat> the AFX tool so when you're using that tool you've got to make sure that you're setting it up right before you start using it uh, you can check out my other videos on how to do that uh, but the reason this is important is when tubes are getting laser cut it can be hard to identify them uh, post cutting so once they've been delivered it can be hard to work out uh, you know just based on what they look like um, which tubes are which especially if you have say left and right sides of a chassis and the tubes are more or less the same length um, but the notches are just sort of mirrored um, so if you name them something appropriate the laser cutter can etch uh, that um, name on there for example EV2 um, rear half of the chassis, the tubes all have, for example, 101-2, which means assembly A30101 part two, or tube two. Um, and you can discuss with your laser cutter to get variations and on how you'd like that done. You could do really cool stuff, like uh, you could get them to notch, uh, to etch in a little um, mark to indicate where another tube is meant to join it at uh, a T section or something like that. Um, when it's you know not in the middle of the tube just little steps to help your fabricator put it together more easily but anyway so we'll, we'll move on uh, to actually making the step file now so we have the the tube in question open as a part we're going to go to file save as we're going to change the file type to a step file and we're going to name it I'm just going to leave it as it is but for you you should make sure it's the correct name now it's really important that you then click options and untick. Normally this quilts here is ticked to include. You don't want to include quilts. So a quilt is um, a, a group of surfaces in Creo um, stitched together or joined together. And they usually say stitched and that forms a quilt. Um, so I'll show you in a moment what that is. So <clears throat> if we were doing this, we would then give it our uh, useful, meaningful name. We've selected no quilts and then we're going to click OK. Now the most important thing is to double or triple check your parts. So now we're going to open that part up and I've gone into where I've saved it and you can see we can't see any files. That's because Creo is looking for Creo parts, Creo files. We're going to go all files and we called this one 3B. And now we've opened a step file and Creo is importing a new model and we're happy for it to be a part file. Um, and those default settings. So this is what our um, step file looks like once we've imported it. So this is what the laser cutter will see. Um, and you can, you can see this is exactly what we want the laser cutter um, to see. They've got these tube profiles uh, ready to go. If uh, we hadn't selected to exclude quilts um, the laser cutter would receive a file that looks like this. You can see we've got this weird overlay hashing of two models intersecting each other um, and most importantly we've got this purple cylinder running the whole length of our tube. So this is the, the uh, working stock or the, the base material that we started with before we notched the tube. Um, and it, when the laser cutter receives this, um, it may cut wrong. Uh, there may be other errors produced by this. It might just not cut cleanly. Um, so it's important not to send quilted parts. So some quick tips. Give it a meaningful name as these can be etched uh, into the parts. Remember to exclude quilts. And don't forget to double and triple check your parts before you send them off to your laser cutter. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you have a great day.